Hello and welcome back. Now today we're going to be drawing a Manaya. It's a mar mythical creature. We don't hear much of the Manaya. We always hear about tikis and tanifas and so on. But the Manaya is one of my favourites. Uh, it comes in three parts. Like earth, wind and fire, it's the sky, land and sea. Now every Manaya comes in three parts. And I'm going to draw this. It's not going to be easy because I'm going to be drawing on this uh, tablet, which I'm holding with my hand. I don't have an easel to lean this against. So it's not going to be easy for me. But it will give you a general idea. Now, every Manaya is different. You can change it to your liking. Uh, you can change the patterns of them. So it's really entirely up to you. But I'm just going to show you a basic layout of the Manaya and where these parts or what these parts represent. So we're going to start off with the head, which is the easiest part. I'm just going to draw an oval and I'm going to draw a mouth. There we go. Hope you can see that. And every manaya is shaped like an S. I'm going to do its body wider, come through here. Now let's try and get this. All right, turn this into a tail. There we go. Let's clean this up here. So, the sky, the bird. Give it an eye. And it's the mouth of the bird. Now, as we come to the center part, this part here, the middle part of the Manaya represents the land. So I'm going to put some corals in there. I love corals because corals represent life. Because when a coral is born, it's very small, it's, it's growing, it's born, it fully develops into a big plant, and then it dies off. That's life. It's always revolving. So, I'll do another one over here. coral here. Now where the corals meet up like this, that's called the hammerhead. Right? You see this shape in nearly every design. Nearly everywhere. So that part there represents the land. Now, that's right, the sea. So I'm going to give this some waves. You can change it around if you can come up with a better design. That'd be good. But this is my interpretation of the sea. I'm going to give it a tail here. And maybe some more corals to represent the ocean, waves, or even a boat. And I'm going to put another one over here. This could represent where the land meets up to the sea. So, it being a drawing from my imagination, you can do whatever you want. Um, now it's missing something that's right, it needs hands so I'm going to put a hand here every manai has hands it's reaching out to the sea mm -hmm. and the other one 
stretches out towards the land. Like that. So it gives you a general idea what a manaya looks like. It's a bit rough, but it doesn't matter. Anything else I can add to this? Uh, no, I'll just leave it like that. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys again later. Bye now, and have a wonderful new week.